David, the university has identified rapid urbanisation as a grand challenge. What's your role in that? I'm the lead of that, which means I convene and make a noise about it and work with other people to make it a success. And why is it such an important focus for you and I'm such a grand challenge? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. City growth around the world is 1.4 million people a week. A week. It's 200,000 people a day, people being born in cities mostly and people moving. The world is changing. It's the defining shift of our times. So how will you get students and staff at UNSW to be involved in addressing it? Yeah, well, it's, um, it speaks for itself. Cities are amazing. They're exciting. They have wonderment. They have greatness. They, they have struggles. They have all these things happening. And a lot of us, well, most of us in the world live in cities. So it's right there. And it's around engaging, listening, talking. Not much selling needed because it's such, a, such an extraordinary issue. In terms of UNSW's global strategy, how does it fit in with that? It fits perfectly. It's Australia's global university. This is a global phenomenon. Social impact, uh, cities where we get the extremities of wealth and poverty, inclusion. It ties to other grand challenges as well. Refugees. Most refugees around the world live in cities, not in camps inequalities. So this is one which connects in, in a number of ways across the university. Right. And across the world. Yeah. It's a global thing. Yeah. So th what about this conference you're having, which is about resilience, urban resilience in the Asia Pacific? How did this come about? It came about uh, a conference held five years ago in America with one of the partners, Harvard University. We're doing part two. So it's, it's Harvard, it's UNSW, of course, and it's Arup, one of the world's biggest engineering firms and Australian Red Cross, part of the Red Cross Red Crescent movement, the world's biggest aid movement. So it's practice and it's research. How do we challenge the issues of climate change and disasters in a meaningful way in the Asia Pacific? Well, region is a big word, but in this, in this part of the world. And, and that's in terms of, for you, it, does it combine other issues such as rapid urbanization? Yes, very much so. It is focusing mostly, mostly on the most vulnerable, uh, but we're thinking about Pacific Islands, which are rap rapidly urbanizing. It's surprising to think that, but Solomon Islands or Fiji or you name it, growing very quickly in cities. And what does that mean and how do we manage them? Because there's a chance to get it right across the world. Uh, it's not too late, if you like. And, and so for you, what would you like to come out of a conference rather so it's just not just all talking? What would you like it to lead to? Yeah, well, we have great people coming. We have the Under Secretary General of the Red Cross Movement. We have some of the world's leading scholars coming. It's, it's accurate to say from the US and the UK on these subjects. So it's practice and it's research. We'll have two, 300 people all being well. We've already had uh, 60 or more expressions of interest to lead sessions, it, but it's about so what? So outcome is policy and practice and partnerships and working and collaborations. So it could actually lead to some specific programs in certain parts of the Pacific? Very much so. Well, thank you so much. It's fascinating. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>